Good morning, everyone. Today we have Nancy, and she's going to tell us about her 2019 Ford Transit. 250. 250. Yes. So, <laughs> that's Marshall barking. He likes to throw everybody to play with him and throw his toy. He's just a loud <laughs> Marshall, keep your toy over here. Okay. Go, uh, uh, go lay down. Good boy. So this is my Ford Transit. I got it in 2021 and um, I decided to be a van lifer. And I retired early. I'm 62 now and I've only been out for about a year. Um, <laughs> he's having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure what else I hear. So you're a van lifer. How <laughs> cool is that? What made you decide to try this lifestyle? Well, I always wanted to travel. Okay. And so once I, I, things were changing in the city, I sold my house, I moved to my camp and I just wanted to travel. So I found all these little Facebook pages and butterfly tribes, women who camp. And so I joined and I found this wonderful group of people to be with. And I'm doing the adventure, living my dream. That is so <laughs> awesome. Is this your first butterfly tribe? My um, second meetup. Meet okay. Mm -hmm. Where was your first, first one? was in May, up in Maine. I forget the name of the campground though, um, but it was wonderful. We had a great time. Michelle Silver was the um, host of that one. Okay. And then Patty's the host of this one. And so, who knows, maybe some year in the future I might host one. Oh, that would be so <laughs> awesome. So, what made you decide to get this particular vehicle? Oh, um, from all my researchings, I wanted to make sure I could stand up they wanted to make sure there was room for Marshall. Okay. And I uh, pretty much park anywhere, so I got the short base. I don't care about going through drive through so I got the mid-roof. Okay. So I could stand up. And, um, yeah, I could still if I park, stay in parking lots. I camp once in a while. But um, it's going good. I, I park in a Home Depot parking lot. I have a little shower in there. But I could take a shower in the middle parking lot. Nobody would even know. That's awesome. Love it. So, your tent, you have a, that's, uh, what is this? That's a Kelty sidekick or back kick. I forget what one is, but it, the brand name is Kelty, K-E-L-T-Y. And it's come, it can close up and a magnet to the side. So you have a little room. You could go, if you want to go in and check it out. I have this up. I don't know, but it has a little door on the front side behind there. That's a door window. Oh, okay. Let's just open this up and make more sunny. My little setup. And it closes on both sides. So you have like a uh, hundred square feet in here. A whole other room. That's nice. And then your portable picnic table. Mm -hmm. And then your butane. But, yep, I have a butane and I also have a propane one. Okay. In here for my little kitchen on the inside. This is this, nice to have, and it's waterproof, so you pretty, you much, pretty much. It has a couple drips. You can see where it dripped a little, where we, cause yeah. we had some downpours. But we on did. the most part, it's very good and sunny days. <laughs> it keeps the sun off me. I oh. see that on, especially like out west. Most, <laughs> some places there's no trees. Right. When I took the, I took the trip out west. Are you trying to be part of the trip, the, the interview? <laughs> um, yeah, it kept the sun. <laughs> You know, so I had a nice, he had a nice shady spot because he can't just stay in here for the shade. Right, right. Yeah, so a lot of things. I utilize my ladder as a little stand for my cooking area. I have my ladder to get this up. And then it has a hole behind my seat. Marshall. And this is nice that you have the screen, the magnetic screen here. Yeah, he can go in and out easily. He, he and I had to tape it up. I'm really gonna have to fix that up too again. But um, he can jump in and out, so it pretty much keeps most of the bugs out. Okay. If you get in, you know, I think that's everywhere. But okay. So, uh, so you want to show us the inside? Yes. Here, I'll just pull these back. I it was empty when I built it, when I bought it, and then I found the um, screw the bolt holes, and so I bolted two by fours to the sides and the tops and so everything is screwed to the 
two by fours that are bolted to the fan. Okay, so it's not going anywhere. Nope, this is not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> and this is a, a I put the torch. Yeah. The torch on the wood, so it's sealed and stuff like that. I have a one and a half inch cherry countertop. Do you want to step up in? You could go. You want to step oh, up you in? Want me to go first? Here's okay. a handle here for you to. All right. Thank you. You can zoom around and take a look. So this is my sink here. It's an undermont sink, and I cut out the countertop. So I have a. You cut it out yourself? I did. And then it's full of the travel items. Right. And then my water filtration. And then I have all, all my other waters under the bed. Okay. And I usually just keep this like here so I can use it as a surface. That's nice your baskets for um, putting things away. Yep, everything in the closet. And nothing comes out while I'm traveling because these all have to be lifted to come right. out. Nice. And the bed is big enough for me and Marshall has his corner right on my side. Looks comfy. He, he also has his little travel spot up front. Right. I hear you, baby. Let me give him his toy. Okay. She has lots of storage in here, guys. And power bank right here. Some food supplies. Yes, storage under the bottom. Yep. And then where this, do you have a refrigerator? Right here. Okay. Nice. And that pulls out. That pulls out to here. Then this is just storage underneath my solar panels, extra toilet paper and such. Okay. So, and this was a desk my daughters used for doing their homework. Aww. So I utilized it in the van. This was from an old little cabinet I had. Yes. Screwed it on, so all my kitchen stuff is here. My stove, my propane, my other stove's out there. One of my little battery jacker things. Yes. And then... Your shower, have, you said oh, for my okay, for my shower. Okay, here's my little bathroom. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll take this out and the extra tarps. Yes, and then I'll take this bin and I'll put it right where you're standing. Right where here, oh, right, right here, here where I'm standing. standing. Up above, shower curtains. So with those oh. would be in the shower, and then for my water, I have this. So you take a half cold water. Put hot water, put little tea kettles of hot water in there. I you took the thing off and put a kitchen. Oh, you put a little spray. Right, on okay. It. So that just hooked up over the bungee. Yes. And hangs down inside the shower curtain. So I only have to reach out and pump it every now and then. Okay, that's that that's helpful. And you got less than two gallons of shower, warm, wonderful shower. That's awesome. It's really nice. Like I said, you could be anywhere. <laughs> and no one would ever know. No one would ever know. I like the fact that you can stand up in here. That makes yes. a, a big difference. That was one of my, because I knew if I was going to live in a van, I did not want to have to bend up. I mean, if it was going to be just traveling one weekend, yes. such, that would be different. And that's a nice, a smart option that you have for your shower. Yeah, you know, in the campgrounds, I utilize the shower. Of course, but I mean, when you when you can't, it's nice to know that you can shower anywhere. Yes, when I'm out the Badlands, I can take a shower. Right. <laughs> oh, and so, when I go to Courtside someday, I'm going to go there. Oh, so you haven't been there yet. <laughs> so can you tell me about your filtration system? That looks oh, that's neat. How, it's like the Berkey system, but it's an off brand. And I only put the towel in here because sometimes when you're traveling, it tries to splash out. Oh, okay. So we, I wanted to get everything wet. So you just take I take spray, faucet I, water. I spray, what? I use, I get gallons of spring water that I I have a where I where my camp is. They, there's a natural spring. Oh. So I just keep filling these up all the time. I got twelve of these. That's f and they live right under here. They have their own little world. But that's a that's so cool that you have a place a, you like your camp where spring. you can get natural spring water yes. and then you just filter it through here. Yes. So you always have water. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. What do you do for heat? Like if it's cold? Well, if it's cold, I have a thing called a sand battery. I don't know if I can um, get it out. It's in the back. Okay. No, um, just, just but, tell Okay. Me. So what I'll do is I take my little propane, butane stove. I keep it here. Um, and it's I put a sand battery on it. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bucket with copper strips in it. And it's filled with sand. You're heating that up. 
and it's right here. So I have my little fan t to blow the air circulate. Yes. And once that sand battery is hot, it stays hot for like three or four hours. Okay. So that keeps the, it's, I'm like 62 degrees in here when it's 20 outside. Oh, wow. Okay, that's comfortable. Just from a butane yes. heater heating my sand battery. That's good. But, you know, so by the time I, I go to bed, I'm good. I'm all comfy in my bed. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I'll just turn back on. Right. And get the chill off. And yeah. Or I, I can blast my heat for it, too, if I need to. Right. My my front, I'll open the curtains and... and What's blast. the gas mileage like on your vehicle? Um, It's probably like 14 or 15. Okay. And it's normal for, for, for this vehicle. Right. So do you usually, when you go out, do you stay for... A long period of time, or did you just kind of like do it on a whim? Do well, you so far things? since I'm new with this, last year I did three trips up to Maine. So the first one I took four weeks. So I like went to Connecticut and stayed a whole week visiting all my friends. Then I ventured up to New Hampshire and I took my time. I I stayed at different campgrounds. I did a lot of travel, like touristy things. Yes. And went all the way up to the tip of Route One. Wow. <laughs> that was exciting. And then I went, then when I came back, I went to, through to New Hampshire to Mount Washington. Yes. Elevation 6,288. That oh was way goodness. above the clouds. Amazing. You have yes. to go there. I haven't gone there. there. I've been to Vermont, but not there. Yeah, it's right next door, so you got to go there. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And then just, I traveled through. I have friends that live in New York, um, by Niagara Falls, and my sister lives in Ohio. So I came back through to Pennsylvania. I like, did a big loop. So I call it my New England loop. Okay. But then this summer, I went out west to California. 25 days, 8,057 miles. Ooh. A flat tire. <laughs> it was all right. Uh, it was, I have my spear. My spear is here. <laughs> did you change it or did you call someone? Oh, trip boy came. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't have one of them big ratchet things you need to get. You have to get the lug nuts off. Forget about it. No, was I wait, it on I, the main road? Oh, I was on 212 in Montana. The trucks were wooing by. Shake the van. I had to pull out. In fact, it, I pulled over. Then I got back in and because it was shaking. I pulled over more. Okay. Because them trucks were flying by. Yes. But yeah, the guy came. It took like two hours, baby, because it was way out on the highway. About two hours he came. He did fix it. It was great. Sent me on my way. That's so when good. I got back to home, I bought four new towers. Okay. Yeah. It, it was kind of due. So I wasn't surprised. Right. Yeah, so it was Especially 8,000 miles. I went from Pennsylvania across up through South Dakota, um, then down through Utah, Nevada, over to California, to the Sequoias, yeah. then up the coast, Route 1, up to the Redwoods, and I spent like six days there, because that was my main goal, to go to the Redwoods. Right. So I did a whole bunch of traveling around there, Avenue of the Giants, all that travel. Mm -hmm. And then I would, you know, zigzag. Then I went all the way up to Oregon, Idaho, into Montana, going to the Sun Road, coming back down Montana, and that's when I got my flat tire. Okay. Because I was going to go back down to Devil's Tower. Yes. But I said, you know, I better just go home. Okay. <laughs> so I jumped on 90 or whatever that was. Devil's Tower is nice. Going to the Sun Road. I love Glacier was... National Park. It was beautiful. I hiked out to Avalanche I did not Lake. get to go to, um, uh, what is it? The Indian one. The, um, Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse. I want to go there. It's beautiful. I, I like that one. I had a good experience. It's on the list. Yes. <laughs> well, you have time and yes, more adventures. Do. To, more adventures to make Marshall. and do. Sorry about the interruption, Marshall's just he wants all the attention. He now. wants the attention. That's okay. Marshall, come here, baby. But, uh, so, okay, what else? So, what's about? your next? Your next? Uh, maybe, maybe between November and December, I want to go to Florida. Okay. So, hope they don't have the hurricanes. Yeah, we'll hopefully what, not. As long as the weather stays okay, I'll. I'll is there any room in particular that you have in mind? Uh, my, my one friend lives in Bartlow, Florida, so I'm going to go see her, and then wherever she tells me is good to go. She lives down there, my friend I went to high school with from Pennsylvania. So she's been down there for all her adult life. A long yeah. time. Yeah, so that's me. Oh, here, I'm going to show you something in my closet. Okay. Oh, let me move this. So I built out my closet because I wanted to have clothes that hang. So I have mirrors. Oh, okay. there's one on both doors. So she can check herself out, guys. Let me pull this up and you can see. Er, this is just when I'm driving, they keep the door shut. Yes. Look at <laughs> that. That's nice. A lot of clothes. Yeah. Some games. That's my Othello, Othello game. St shoes and um, stuff, extra um, 
storage, storage down stuff, there. Yeah. My, you know, undies and stuff and shorts and t-shirts and right. whatnot. Very nice. Uh, and I love my closet. Yes. <laughs> that was one of my prides. You put, so you built this out too? I built everything. You I go. have a saw. I have, I, yeah, I have a saw, <laughs> the torch I did, and my live edge cherry kind of Now this, oh. this is, it was milled. Yeah. And he sold it to me for eight. It was eight foot long, so I cut the edge. I cut what I needed, and it was thirty five dollars. That's all. Because it was fresh milled. Oh. So I had to take it home, lay it out on the floor, with little strips under it and uh, heavy stuff on top to keep it flat. Yeah. Till it dried, so it didn't okay. buckle. Wow. So for a month, it laid on my floor. Yeah. In my living room. <laughs> I had to well, step it's, over. It's so nice. It was worth it. It was. Yeah. It was so worth it. So I cut it to fit the. This I put it, you know, to a good spot. Right. And, and then these are cherry. This is cherry. And this was the shelves are cherry also. The, all the rest is just cheap home wood. Yeah. Home depot wood. But um, the shell he gave me this slab and then this half inch slab, which was the same, to cover it. Yeah. Well, I utilized that and I made all my shelves are cherry slab, cherry pieces. These are all cherry. You are so inspirational. You, Look at I this. What I used. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. $35 wow. for all that wood. Yes, that was amazing. Yeah. Wow. And so, and I have, you know, big thing here, the big um, cotton board or whatever. You want. My big, I can do my hair in there. <laughs> and it slips right in so you can have extra counter and, space. Yeah, so it, when I'm driving, this stays like that. Right. Yeah. This is so awesome. I loved how you made use of all the space. It's very good. It's when I first started, um, when I bought first, my first trip was up to Erie, PA. Um, what is that? Prescott Isle? Yes. Prescott. I went there to the campground, to the KOA near there. So then I would drop. But I bungeed a camping cot to the wall. It was just all metal in here. So it was, I bungeed a little old v VHSR rack. Yeah. Where my little bins were in there. Okay. For, you know, my little bins were holding all my stuff. It was just bungeed to the wall, my camping cot. And, <laughs> Marshall had a spot on the floor and coolers, bungee to the wall. <laughs> but you were out but there was, doing it. It was so that much was, fun. It was awesome. So, so all the times, every time I would go, I had a notebook. And I would take notes of where I wanted, how I wanted. Because then I moved the cot. But I, I liked it at this spot the best. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you, you live and you learn. You swap things out. And so for a while, I had, these were the, built first, all that. So I still had my cot. And, you know, and then had these, and then so, I, and then the next step was build the bed. So I built that out where you, it's this lifts up so I can get to anything I want under there. But okay. most of the stuff's in bins, so they pull out anyways. What type of mattress did you get? Is it a twin uh, size? Nope. It's my, it's I got a oh, like, eggshell, and this is a dawn feather. Wow. So it's full. Of, I pushed it all to one side, all the feathers to yes. one side. So I fluff it every now and then. Right. But I'll tell you what, I get some good night's sleep. You get good sleep. Uh, yep. That's all that matters. <laughs> good night's rest. So it's, it's feathers. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, shh, Marshall, honey, please stop barking. Thank you so much for sharing, Nancy. We appreciate you showing us your van. Well, thank you for coming to visit me and enjoying my oh, little world. Anytime, and I hope I get to see you again. <laughs> and maybe we'll get a chance to camp together again. Yes, definitely. All right. Butterfly chops. All right. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you on the road.